Okay, okay, I'm going to go to live on Facebook. Log in. Live stream migrants day. What a what a day. <laughs> So I'm live streaming on Facebook. Um, probably I should have just um, retweeted what I had. I, we, we had a family service this morning and then we went straight to celebrate our fourth son's birthday at his place. And it was my first time to visit him and his girlfriend at their place. Um, so that was very interesting. And we got home about an hour ago and I have just been going through some of my emails and some of them are tweets and I've just seen it's United Nations Migrants Day. So hashtag Migrants Day. And it's an opportunity to celebrate the millions of migrants that are integral members of the societies in which they live and their contributions to both their home and host countries. And then underneath there's a statistic. No, I don't find it now. There was somewhere I came across that one in 30 people are migrants in the world. So yes, I'm a migrant. I'm an Australian. I've maintained my Australian nationality. I have my Australian passport and I'm living in Austria. Now, if Austria wasn't so strict about their one nationality policy, I might already have applied for and received an Austrian passport. But because for me, it would mean sacrificing my Australian passport, I haven't done that. However, my sister-in-law in Australia, who comes from Switzerland, for a long time, she had to up um, renew her visa her residence visa in Australia until Australia changed their rules and she was advised to just get the Australian citizenship so that she doesn't have to keep getting this new visa in her passport every five or ten years. To be honest, I have a residence visa in a passport <laughs> two or three generations back. I don't even know which one it is and I haven't bothered renewing yeah, they've changed the visa situations here in Austria I would have to pay a hundred I would have had to pay a hundred euros and I would have got a European visa to allow me to be a resident in Europe for 10 years the stamp in my passport has already given me lifelong residency in this country from a time before all of this trouble and turmoil which has shaken up the world and got people thinking about all sorts of other things. Sure, we need to think about these things. Migrants? Am I a migrant? I guess technically you would have to call me a migrant. And here in Austria, I've, I've talked about this part before, I'm a foreigner, uh, Ausländer. And yet a lot of Austrians say to me, no, not, not you, not you, you're not the Ausländer, it's the other ones. Well, you know, I worked at the UN, so I see myself as a very international person. However, my parents came from Czechoslovakia. I was born in Australia. My, my children are living here, Australian and Austrian parents. So, of course, they are Austrian Australians. So what? <laughs> so what? Oh, um, yeah, well, we just had the soccer finals, didn't we? Argentina and... <laughs> I haven't been watching. I think we watched one or two games and we were still on our way home when the final shots were played and 
I didn't know at first why Joseph was on his mobile phone. He was he was tracking it. He was watching it. And then finally he told me, yes, Argentina won. Great. Yes, I don't mind watching a soccer game. It's not the core value in my life. My core value, interdependence, mutual prosperity, universally shared values. What does it mean to be a migrant? I don't think it matters where you live. What matters is how you feel in your heart, in your mind, in your body. Are you being taken care of? Can you communicate with people who you love and who love and care for you? Thank you. I had a lovely day with my family today. And typically, look, it's the 18th of December. Just two more days of the days getting shorter and the days will start getting longer. That's my biggest hassle about living in this part of the world, that down under, it's summer. Yeah, but Melbourne's having its coldest summer on record. One time when I was in Australia in January, looking forward to the warm summer, it was also at that time the coldest summer on record. So figure it out, was it 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Check the records. I don't remember exactly when it was. I just know that I was a little bit perturbed that my Aussie holiday in the down under summer turned out to be the coldest summer on record. Well, it's been outdone. It's been übertroffen in German. It's been outdone. And this year is the coldest summer on record. So I'm living on the continent in Europe, in the center of Europe, in a landlocked country, landlocked country. And somebody asked me today, do you miss Australia? My answer was, I don't like the cold, dark days, but they're, they're, they're coming to an end. We're going to still have cold days, but they won't be as dark for very much longer. So what about migrants? Wherever you live, you can make a contribution. Okay, I'm living in this country of Austria. Oh, now I've, I've, I see the time. I never knew how long I was online on, on, in, in my Zoom meeting and I've just seen the clock. I mean, typically I do know how long I'm in Zoom meetings, but not when I'm going live. Focus, okay. So wherever you're living, whether you're an Aussie, an expat or in the diaspora, I was making my presentation a couple of weeks ago and came across lots of other people who didn't have a clue what that meant. And I think we Aussies talk about expats when we're not living at home down under in Australia. And I wouldn't have even taken that terminology for myself of being a migrant, an immigrant. It's, it, I didn't come to this country because I was escaping from Australia. I came here because I met my husband in America. We got married and we're living now in this country and our children were born here. So that's where I'm living, big deal. We could have ended up staying in America as my uncle wanted me to. We could have gone to Australia. Yes, a lot of people are in difficult situations and many of them are not even called migrants. Some are called illegal aliens in some places. Some are called refugees. Some are trafficked women. The situation of people out of country is individual for every single person. And that's not the key point for me. The key point is let's take care of one another. Let's make the most of our situation. Let's help one another. Let's build this world of interdependence, mutual prosperity and universally shared values. 
Yes, that's what I wanted to say. I haven't often posted on a Sunday, but there you go. That's long enough from me today. Have a great evening. Good preparations for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever other feasts of light or love that you celebrate at this time of year. I was telling somebody yesterday that at the UN, many of my colleagues wanted to be politically correct and would only ever say happy holidays and others, even some of my Jewish and Muslim colleagues and friends did not hesitate to wish me a happy Christmas. And I don't hesitate to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you again soon.